I think most of us appreciate the benefits of renewable energy. If you have solar PV, there's no pollution going into the environment. The issue is if the sun isn't shining or the wind isn't blowing, we're not getting any power from those sources. So it's about energy storage. And as far as storing and moving energy around, there's a reason why historically we've always loved fuels, because they're a great way of storing energy and moving it to where we need. Whilst fuels are excellent, and diesel and petrol have been a great servant over centuries, we've realised there's some downsides for using those fuels. We're destroying our environment. So what we're doing here, we're, we're producing green hydrogen, which is produced where you have lots and lots of renewable energy, a big solar farm, a big wind turbine farm. You produce the fuel, just comes from water and electricity. You ship it to where you haven't got enough energy, Maybe it's an off-grid site, a festival, a construction site that doesn't have electricity grid there, or, or a service station that wants to do lots of EV charging but doesn't have enough grid. We put one of our generators on the ground, that produces lots of electricity. We put the hydrogen into the generator and what comes out is clean power and very, very pure water is the only exhaust that you get. So what HPE2 brings to the table uh, above our current HPE1 offering is more power, less space, lower weight and lower cost, both in production and operation and maintenance. This is a benefit for Geopura, but also Geopura's customers. You're here in the Siemens Energy site where these, our equipment is manufactured, it's mass produced. And working with Siemens Energy on the manufacture of these units, we've got to bring the price down. And this unit is that next step change in bringing the price down. So we've been manufacturing their Mark I hydrogen power units for two years now and we're working with them to bring the prototype Mark II HBU from sort of a prototype stage through to mass production. So mass manufacturing is important because you get a lot of benefits from reducing cost, consistency in quality, but also you're putting more units out there which is helping to decarbonise the energy industry and sort of displace diesel generators which is what ultimately this is all about. So the key features of the HPE2 is that it can work in many, many different configurations and that gives flexibility and therefore um, benefit to the customer. So it can work in an off-grid, so if there's no grid supply, the, the HPE2 can provide power. It can work on-grid to supplement um, weak or intermittent grids. It could work with reciprocating engines, battery systems, solar systems. It's a flexible, like, multi-use system. So anywhere where you see a diesel generator, this will be used. But it's particularly popular um, where critical power is needed so it's used a lot for live TV, so sporting events. Anywhere where someone hasn't got enough grid or maybe hasn't got grid at all, this unit comes in very handy indeed. We understand that if you can get grid electricity, that's almost certainly the right solution. The problem that we've got is that grid doesn't get everywhere. And what's more, we're trying to electrify our transport system to some extent. Electric cars are great but it needs charging infrastructure and that's putting a strain on everything we do. And we're going to need fuel to augment that system and we can provide electricity to augment the system, but using products like this.